Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our IPM series today we are going to see how we can automate the browser application or any kind of URL into the browser that is the Chrome browser of the Android mobile devices. So, so far we have seen how we can handle the web to native or native to web context or maybe the native applications which we were inspecting using the IPM inspector and then we were automating those browser elements or the native elements but today we are going to see even the android mobile devices has the chrome browser right now how do we automate it like we were using selenium for our desktop browser so the same thing how we can deal with the mobile browsers using the appium so there are two things that is coming into the picture one is how do we inspect these mobile browser elements the second thing is that how do we automate it by using the appium now let me go into one of the browser application into the mobile so i'll just go to this and then here now you can see that there is no way i can right click and inspect it how we were doing for the web applications right so how do we deal with this actually now for this actually i have written a blog post you can uh, i will share this uh, link into the description you can watch it so a simple thing what it is telling that open your desktop chrome browser now this is my chrome browser and it says that you have to copy this particular url actually into this now the thing is that before you are loading this particular url right you need to make sure that the simulator or your real device with that particular browser application is already on your screen so in this case i'm using a simulator if you are using a real device just connect it by using your usb cable and then you open the mobile browser the chrome browser and open that url that's it and after you are ready with your device chrome browser then you can just load this and here you can see that after you are loading this url you can see there is one port that is displaying a chrome and then some ip address of that and here you can see that the application which i have opened the same thing is populating here as well and you just need to click on this inspect actually now once you click that inspect right you can see that the preview of your simulator or the mobile device screen is coming here and you can simply click on these things and you can inspect and you, here you can see that all those things you can identify now if you go through this and i can just minimize this and you can also get all the details now let's say that i want to get the email field so you can get it and this is my email and after that uh, you can see here the id is in uh, email actually the input field so like that you can use okay so by using this id you can deal with all these things so whatever you are changing here now let's say that i'm going here and you can see that these things are changing here so any preview that you are getting here you will get the mobile browser preview also here so that you can inspect the html dome here it is coming as simple as that okay now the first uh, hurdle actually we now able to solve that now let's go back to the second step that how do we automate it by using the appium because this is not your the native application right it is the chrome browser so it is little bit different the way that we are doing now just to give you a guys a context actually how we were doing in normal things let's say ios so you used to give the device name platform version and then the bundled id if it is ios if it is android then app package and app activity right and then we were inspecting by using appium inspector now let's try to see that how we can handle the browsers actually here now for this i need first the android capabilities or the options so i'll simply copy paste it from here and then we'll do the necessary changes now here and i will say that emulator and here 13.o is my the simulator version actually there the os that i'm using and then here couple of other things that i need to set it up here so i don't need the app package and app activity here because i am going to automate the browser application now here actually i need one more uh, what do you call the option actually so that is actually with the browser name because i have to deal with the browser right now this accepts a string now this string could be chrome firefox or edge browser actually so at this moment i want to automate the chrome so i'm just keeping it now these three particular what do you call the options should be enough for you to 
launch the uh, Chrome browser and then you have to load that URL. Now before to that, I need to make sure that uh, that particular browser is launched. So what I'm going to do here, the regular way, I will say that app factory dot launch, which app actually Android launch app, right? With these options. Okay, like that I will be launching. Now I will just put some thread dot sleep actually. And uh, here 1000, so one second it will wait it. And after that I will be automating as usual. Now I will say that app driver dot get driver and i will say dot get because i have to load that url now which url actually i need to do so this particular url i need to load it which i just loaded into my simulator as well fine and after that i need to identify this particular box right the email box after going inside this this email box so for this I will be going now I have shown how to inspect that so I can write it find element and I will say that by ID and here I'll just send something actually here some name and you can regularly you can use the driver object as you were doing into the selenium by identifying or inspecting the browser elements okay and after that you will just put some three dot slip let's say two seconds and after that you have to say quit that's it so like that you can automate it now the idea is not to showcase how to automate it because we have understood now the idea is that how to launch the simulator with the chrome browser and load the web browser application actually there to run this particular code i need to run the appium right so i'll just open my terminal and say that appium now in this case actually there is one thing that we need to note it that i will not be running this appium as it is because when you run this appium and let's say that your simulator the chrome browser whatever it is there if the same specific version is not available then it might throw an error actually by saying that the chrome driver is not found let me show you that so i have captured this particular issue actually here and you can see that no chrome driver found that can automate the chrome you could also try to enable the automated chrome driver download as a possible workaround so it means that now for the chrome version like 103 chrome version i have actually the chrome driver as 112 so it means that now it is not compatible and it is telling that either you download it or else you can use the automated download workaround now how do i do that now you don't know what version of the chrome driver you have and what version of the chrome that you have installed into your simulator or the real devices right so always it is recommended instead of a appium what you can do you can run this particular command so it says that appium allow insecure chrome driver auto download what this does if the chrome browser and the chrome driver version is not compatible the appium will download it automatically for you just run this particular command and you should be good so let it run so that is just one thing that you need to keep it in mind when you are running the appium server while you are uh, using the chrome browser automation okay so i will go ahead here and then run this and seems like there is some error actually that is coming now let's see what is that error and you can see that uh, it throws fail to start the com.android.chrome on device emulator so it is not able to identify the chrome actually like when i have said this one right with browser name it is not able to identify that that particular application but that application is, is is with me right for this simulator now when i looked into this particular error right i got to know that the android 13 now i'm using android 13 here android 13 and chrome browser now appium is not able to interact with the os 13 with the chrome browser there is a chrome issue actually this is an issue with the chrome which the appium team actually already confirmed now let me show you that particular error actually so somebody raised a ticket appium issue and that's where they have reported it and they have suggested that to not to use android 13 combination with the chrome browser now for that what they have said is that because it is not able to identify this particular chrome right now the chrome do have a particular app package and app activity if you see that 
Now, what they said, because it is not working, there are two ways you can handle this one. One is you can go to the Android 12 version of the uh, simulator or the device and then open the Chrome as usual with the way that we have done. If you are still stuck with, let's say that no, your requirement is on Android 13. Now, what you can do instead of this with browser name, right? You can avoid this one and you can use the app package and app activity, which is listing here. So that way, it means that you can launch that Chrome browser as part of your native application. Then you switch back to the web view context and you can automate that. Now I will show you these two approaches as well. Now for now, actually I will be going to the first approach or the first suggestion that let's say that I can deal with my 12.0. And before to that, let me just copy this up here and paste it here for the future use. Now I will be going to the 12.0. Now for this, what I'm going to do, I need to close this particular simulator and I will be opening the Android 12 actually. I, I have that already made the Android 12 simulator. So let me open that. Perfect. So here you can see the Chrome browser is already there. I will close all these things. Now let's run this. Now the IPM server is still running. So no need to worry about that. And here you can see I changed that to the 12.0. Now let's rerun this. And here you can see that the Chrome browser is opening and it should enter the email. Now let's see what is the problem here. No such element exception. Okay. I think there is some issue. Oh, here actually I need to say that email dot send keys actually here. Send keys and this has to go here. Okay, now let's quickly rerun this. And here I have both the devices side by side and you, here you can see it should open the web application and here you can see that uh, that email got entered actually and there is no issue with that. So the first solution worked for us to go back to the Android 12. Now let's say that I want to stick with the 13 and now let's open it by using as a native. Now for this actually I will be commenting this one because when you are using the native context the app package and app activity you shouldn't be using with browser name. So I will be uncomment these two things and here I will be updating the app package and app activity as it is suggested into the Appium issue. Okay, so now here actually there are two things when you do this right you cannot launch you can launch it but you cannot use this get actually this find element and everything because whenever you're launching with app package and app activity right appium treats it as a native application actually so i will show you that all uh, how it is actually working so let me open the appium inspector and here what i'm going to do now the same thing I will be delay. I will be closing this simulator and I will open the Android 13 one. And here is my Android 13. So let it boot up. And here actually by the time it is booting up, you can see that I have written actually a couple of capabilities. The uh, like platform name simulator Android 13.0 and here you can see app package and app activity. Now here it is now up and running. Now let me start this session. My Appium server is also running here. So I will just minimize it. And here you can see that the Android Chrome browser actually opened here. Now whenever I'm tapping on this, right, and you can go to the native context here. And here you can see that the first preference it is the native because I have opened it with app package and app activity. If I want to switch back to the native, uh, the web view context, I need to click on this web view underscore Chrome actually. So I have to go back to this actually. And now I can simply continue and allow it and then refresh this. Now this is my Chrome context or the browser context. So I need to now switch the context here whenever you are opening with this actually. So let's do that quickly. 
dot context that is the way we need to switch right to a particular from web to native or native to web but here you can see that it is not able to get this context method actually into this why because this uh, get driver is a web driver actually now web driver don't have the context you have to convert that into a android driver actually here so what i'm going to do here i'll simply cast actually to android driver now what is the context that is capital web view underscore small chrome that's it now you just need to do this one after it is getting the context to switching this i'll show you that as well so let me quickly put this actually s out and here i will be keeping and instead of context i will get the first context actually here you can see it will print what is the context as soon as it is launching the chrome browser after i'm changing or switching the context what is the context it is coming and then I will simply wait for some time and after that I can regular run my code as it is and let me run this now this is what I'm doing on my latest Android 13 actually where this issue was happening okay so because of this probably it might uh, and you can see that internally it is loading but it might throw okay it passed actually you can see here at the initially it was native app after we have uh, switched the context right here after that it is going to this and it performed all the action but that pop-up was there now if you want to avoid that there is a quick workaround actually with Appium what you can do you can come back here and there is a auto grant permission actually this is one of the option which you can use it so when you do that right any kind of pop-up that is coming on your browser that will be auto accepted now let me do this and run it so that you can see this without the pop-up you know why and here you can see that qab box is entered into the text box so that is how actually the second workaround actually you need to deal with it so whenever you are using with browser name you have to start it from here but whenever you are using the set app package and all these things you have to switch the context actually from native to your chrome view actually so depending on the uh, issues that you are getting or the appium error you can handle this one so when someone is asking you like can i launch the chrome browser as part of the native application yes you can do it this is the way actually you can explain them we looked into three different things one is actually how to inspect the mobile browser elements in the android chrome the second thing is that how to launch the browser with the with browser name capabilities if it is not working how can you open it with a native context and switch that okay so hope this session is helpful we will be seeing some more interesting topics like this in our upcoming sessions so stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel Thank you for watching.